tell you, I'll tell you this story. Not many people knows it, but like I remember wearing their shoes right before the game. There's two gentlemen came from the NBA and said, "Take those shoes off." I'm like, "Excuse me?" He said, "Yep, take those shoes off." I was like, "I'm not taking the shoes off." They're like, "Listen, we are begging you to take those shoes off." And I asked him, "Like, am I breaking any rules?" They said, "No." Then I said, "Okay." I was like, "There is 27 amendments because I'm getting ready for my. I was getting ready for my citizenship. That's my first amendment of freedom of speech, and you're taking that away from me." <laughs> and after that, I was like, "Go tell your boss. I don't care if I get banned or fine. I'm not taking the shoes off." You know? Wow! And I, that that game, I play zero minutes. Um, Wait, who was that, it who told you to take them off? Oh, uh, some NBA officials, literally right before the game, while I was on a bench. So not while your team, not your team officials, but NBA officials. They, they, you know, they told me to obviously they wanted to take me to locker room to take my shoes off. And then after that, I told them, no, I'm not going to take my shoes off. And in halftime, they came and apologized. I was like, because I told them, I'm not going to take my shoes off. Go tell you. And, you know, I had a a conversation with Adam Silver. And I asked Adam, like, Adam, listen, you know, I've been getting so much like blowback and so much pressure from the league. Am I breaking any rules? He said, no. I was like, okay, then don't do not. I'm not from now on. I don't want anyone to call me from the league to take my shoes off or put a statement out there. I'm Good for you. Shoes. 